Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back to the love story of Sam Kerr and Christy Muez. Sarah's already laughing. The love story of 2021. Exactly! <laughs> so what we're going to do, yes, you heard it right. We're going to do, we're going to start our first video off in a way. We're going to start, you know, we haven't done a lot of Olympic videos, obviously, because we have been moving and, and everything that's <laughs> been going on with my mom, everything, okay. So we haven't done a lot of Olympic videos. So, you know, we, we never did a video about the Netherlands game. We never did a video about the Canada game. So... Our thought was this was going to be the video about this would probably be the just what we thought about the uh, bronze medal match. You know, going mm. into it, we're going to talk about the bronze medal match. But what we got instead, or what we're going to do instead, is ten times greater. There was a show. There was yes. There was a show. There really was a show. It was like a shower it, I, of affection. Yes, it's public. Public debate. Public. Public displays of affection. PDA? Non-sexual PDA. Sarah, what? Do you think a PDA is like sexual or Go whatever? in okay. the corner. So we're going to do a video. You know, do do I think we might do a video kind of about the game? Possibly. You know, I kind of want to do a it's video. Never too late. Yeah, I kind of want to do a video about what people's perception of what went wrong for the whole tournament. You know, a lot of people are saying it's Vladko's fault, you know, fault, a lot of responsibility. A lot of people are just saying that the squad was too old. I think there's a lot of opinions out there about what, te- you know, what really went wrong. Mm. So we might do a video about that um, at some point. So we knew the bronze medal game was this morning. Unfortunately, we didn't watch it live only because we didn't get up in time. <laughs> we were sleeping. We were sleeping. Um, so the very first thing we, you know, we woke up, we wanted to see who won the match. Sorry. I will say, I think I almost saw this before I knew who won the match. As everyone knows, United States won. Like I said, not really going to do a video about that, the game necessarily. But what happened after the game was kind of the exciting part. Oh, well, kind of iconic. let's go back a little bit. United States played Australia, I believe, July 28th. And the big thing, you know, we did a video about it. Was this going to be Sam and Christie's first date? You know, was this going to be their first date? Was it going to be the 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 what we were you know all these months leading up to this public declaration and public flirtation this is gonna be their first date i will say it was a little <laughs> anticlimactic because we really didn't see anything i will say we did see this and i'll put it on the screen i don't even know if sarah has seen this sam looks to the side starts smiling oh she's cat calling looks at is that alana <laughs> kennedy i yeah. don't know that looks at alana kennedy she starts smiling and for everyone says this is she was looking at Christy, which I believe because there was a shot about Christy. So I'm just showing. I you believe this one. she was catcalling actually. Um, that looks like a whistle and a oi. Oh, was she? Oi. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> so we saw JK. that. That was on the 28th. So that's kind of all we saw on uh, from the first game. So it's a little, you know, not disappointing, but it's something like you know we didn't see that big moment. Disappointing. So, so then Let's on Instagram, honest, we were all looking out for we, it. everyone was. I mean, I wasn't. I was interested in the game, but that was like the big thing. That was the second game. <laughs> that was the second. And <laughs> then game the game. Sam posted this on one week ago. Sam posted this. The Aussies. I think they had just won. I actually mm-hmm. don't know what game that was, but you know, it's the tournament. But who do we see in the comment section? Oh, Christy. I almost said Kristen. <laughs> Christy Mewis. And Cart- 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 Hart. Yes. So we saw that. So that was kind of during during the, the gate, the tournament. And then, um, so, you know, they didn't really have any interactions at that game. Um, Chris, actually, Christy, Christy didn't get a lot of playing term during the tournament, which was kind of sad, but it's just the way it is. And uh, she actually played in that game. So then, fast forward. Fast forward to, you know, there wasn't. Going into this, there wasn't a big thought that they would play again. It all depends on who wins, who loses, who's going to be, you know, going for the gold medal, who's going to get knocked out. It comes down that United States is going to play Australia for the bronze medal. So Christy posts this one day ago, right before, and she posted one more. So like one more, Mm -hmm. one more game, one more team. And she put an American flag. Then... Who do we see in the comment section? We see Sam Kerr. Uh, and she wants trolling. to represent the Australian. Because, um, you know, she's rooting for Australia. Christy's rooting for, you know, playing, you know, each are playing for the opposite. Mm-hmm. And then Christy comes back with the American flag. So I'm going <laughs> to put that on the screen. But, yeah, I mean, so they're proud. They're, you know, it's so fun. Just like the cute banter they have. Okay. So that leads us to the bronze medal match. Um, long story short. 
United States won. It was a good match. I think it was heartbreaking for the Australian team because they came so yeah. close. So let's go to the very end of the match. USA wins. They're excited. I'm so happy to see that they were so pumped, especially Pina was so pumped. You know, mm-hmm. it wasn't what they were going in there, but they, they want to win. They win. Australia, on the other hand, is pretty down on the dumps. Bummed, yeah. uh, so they're pretty bummed. Christy's there. Sam's there. This is basically the moment everyone has been waiting for for literally six months. Some would say, this magic moment. moment. Your lips are close to mine. Beautiful. Oh, okay. Loved it. So this was the moment everyone was waiting for. This was the, is this their first date? Um, this is the moment. And I'm date? Gonna, yeah, so, what? So what I'm going to do, you know, okay. it's their first date. It's the first time they have been pictured together and they were iconic, Sarah. Yeah. I- Iconic. Oh, okay. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go in kind of orders of pictures, and Sarah and I are gonna diet them, and then we're gonna go. Okay. So this is not necessarily the first picture I saw, but I think this represents Christy consoling Sam. You know, Sam mm, looks bummed. That's what it is. Sam looks bummed, and Christy goes there. So you know, this would have been one thing. I think if we just would have seen this picture, mm-hmm. you know, I can understand mm-hmm. it. You know, saw this picture. You know, Christy Ben Sam. But then, then we see a sequence of pictures. Oh, oh my God. We see a sequence of pictures, and this is where we die. Um, so let's start with this picture. We see this picture. And, I mean, first of all, they're out on the pitch by themselves. It kind of looks like you don't really get a whole feeling. But the two play, you know, they're right there. So everyone's looking at them. You know what I mean? I mean, and I think they want a spotlight. They're talking. This is the picture we wanted. But we didn't know what was to come before we saw this picture. (laughs) Then we see a picture like this, too, where she's crying and Christy's... And I mean, look how close they are. I mean, this isn't a picture you see all the time because, I mean, look how close they are. Mm -hmm. Like, her hand is right there. I mean, are you a body language expert? I am. Yeah. But this is where it gets a little hot and spicy. Oh. I died at this oh, picture, Sarah. Yeah. This picture was, oh, I could not take it. Um, and if you look at the picture as well, I mean, the spot, like you said, the spotlight is on them. And I think they're liking it, to be honest. I mean, that's just a face full of sweat for me. Yeah. <laughs> Like that's anyone you know. who's concerned about that ringworm, that's that when you really thing? know that you like someone, though, when you let their sweat <laughs> get on you. But athletes, look at this. right? That is such an intimate-looking photo. Zoom in. Mm-hmm. This is such an intimate-looking photo. You know what I mean? It's like <laughs> it's Christy's very cheek cute. right on Sam, like con- kind of consoling her, kind of just having a moment. This is like a very intimate moment, and <gasps> they must know. There's cameras everywhere. It's the Olympics. Every single player is looking at them. Every single, like, this is, like, the spotlight is on them. They're in their own bubble, man. They, I want to say this, they knew what they were doing completely, completely. There might have been a thing where they couldn't have private time, obviously, because they couldn't be in each other's locker rooms or whatever. Um, but, I mean, that is so <laughs> intimate. Chrissy looks like, like, her cheeks on there. It looks like, um, you know, see those dogs who um, just Get got coffee. stung by bees or something. Yeah. <laughs> so cute. Yeah, no, she looks so cute. Okay, let's yeah, see. these pictures are very telling, and they're worth not a thousand, not only a thousand words, but a million words. This is another picture that I just okay. This is their first date. Exactly what I'm <laughs> saying. I'm Look at how that like someone you know it you know I, do you know what the term simp is? So many DMs said they're like simple t- simp for Christy simp like. Like, I will do anything for her. I love her. Like, she looks so, um, almost like a kid, like a cute little kid with her, like, not her mom, but you know what I'm saying? Just like, trust, very embracing hug. Like, they she look trusts like her. They're, they're what, like, it's like the 4th of July. Okay, they're laying out before the fireworks. Yes! Just on a hot summer night. Like a date, Sarah! Like a date! Oh, shoot. I just described a date. Yes! Yeah, they're on a date. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, so, I mean, these were the pictures I. I can't believe happened. You know what I mean? Like, I can't believe they actually, and they made it public. And I think, I'm sure Sam and Christy know the Woso fans. They were both in very public relationships that Woso fans go crazy for. Um, I mean, so they've got to read all the comments that they know. go on their pictures. And, and it's almost like it was a show for everyone. And I am not mad at that. Did they Did they need to do that or whatnot? Not necessarily. Yes, um, so oh. here's here's another here's another one. 
Like, look, you can kind of see Sam's disappointment. I think a lot of this is Sam's mm-hmm. disappointment, though. Oh, that's a nuzzle if I ever... Yeah, it's totally a nuzzle. I think you can see Sam's disappointment, obviously, but it's like... But a lot of, I he- see a lot of people on social media saying she might have lost the bronze medal, but she won Christie's heart. I mean... <sighs> Put that on a t-shirt. I oh, know. my God. <laughs> I just can't believe... <laughs> I just can't believe these... They, they we're so public about it, and, like... And, like, it wasn't like... They weren't shy about it, you know? They're blessing us. They knew what was coming. This is better than the Olympics. <laughs> <laughs> For some people, it is. For me, it kind of... Not is better. This I is just love better it. than the gold medal. Okay? This is better than the bronze medal. These pictures, I, I, kept, I told a couple people in our DMs, this is, like, my favorite moment of the year most of moment of the year it really is and it's so public and it's at the olympics you don't other than the world cup you don't really get bigger than the olympics especially in america mm-hmm. um and i will say legitimate publications are writing articles about this <laughs> and some people are in favor of that and i mean they, i think some people they, might be in 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 not favor of it um the insider posted an article about it a u.s soccer player sweetly consoled australia's top star after the u.s women's national team beat the matildas for olympic bronze u.s says christy moves sat on the pitch and comforted aussie star sam kerr after the final whistle oh oh this one took me out <laughs> oh my god the two <laughs> sorry Ooh, okay, catch your breath the two appear to be dating based on the photos from after the game and their instagram interaction yes but this is major a ma- insider that is a big publication u.s national team's midfielder christy muse made her way to comfort her following her team's heartbreaker fans already suspected that the pair the pair of international stalker stars were dating based off their social media interactions and photos from Thursday's night bronze medal match offer further evidence that Mewis and Kerr may, may be one of sports' newest power couples. Power couple. Sarah. Woo! Sarah. I mean, I mean, I'm here. my name. Like I said, there was a reason they, there was a reason they did it publicly, not because they wanted the attention that they didn't care. You know what I mean? That's almost a reason to. I don't care. I'm going to do it publicly. But this is so public. It's been so public for so long at this point. Well, four or five months. Mm, (laughs) So long. Well, maybe longer than that. Um, Okay. So what did you guys think? We, I could not believe, I kept analyzing these pictures. Like, I love them. They're my... Yeah, I woke you up and I told you about it. I showed you the picture. Yeah, and, and you I were shook. Like, you were good. You were like, "What? I know." And like, then she went back to bed. I did. I, did. Uh, I, I was just not expecting it. You know, I was no expecting was. maybe something like that first picture, her consoling her. Right. But those, they were. I don't want to say this, but and I don't want to make it sexual, but those were like very like sensual pictures. They were canoodling. Canoodling, very sensual. And when you know everyone's eyes are going to be on you, I mean, I'm sure both teams know what's going on. I'm sure the coaches know what's going on. But for (laughs) everyone's eyes to be on you too, and the world is looking in as well. The Olympics, it doesn't get bigger worldwide than the Olympics. I mean, yeah. So it was so sensual and... Say that word one more time. I just love it. Sam and Christy... Good luck. I mean, I think if this is a real thing. Okay, so this goes back to the other question. Do you think this is real? Or do you think this is a show? That's still a question in some people's eyes. Um, I could see some how... Some people still don't believe it. So. I could see how it's very show choir No. <laughs> um, I could see how it's a show, but um, no. But you don't think they would go for such a, such a um, strong... You don't think they would put on a show for this at this level, you know, taking no, these pictures unless they're trolling everyone unless they're trolling everybody would be iconic yes unless this could happen <gasps> they're actually in relationships a, yeah. with other people and this is to <laughs> divert attention or they're just pranking the entire world yes yes some people still think that i think fewer and fewer people think that to be honest but i think there's some people who still think that i don't think that i think it's pretty legit i still think it might have started off kind of as a gag but now it's legit. So what did you guys think? Did you guys, did you love it? And are you kind of, are some people over this couple already? You know, some people think it's a little too attention seeking. I don't, but, and I can understand people thinking it's attention seeking, but. We love it. What do you guys think? Did you, what did you guys think? You know, A, congrats to the Americans for, for, congrats to US Women's National Team for 
earning the bronze. Um, and these moments, these were one of my favorite moments of the year. We loved it. Um, so timestamps obviously down below. So if you just, if you're clicking here for the life update, a tiny life update, we're going to give you a tiny life update. Okay, so we officially moved. We did. And we moved somewhere else. <laughs> So we moved. So most of you know we live on the East Coast. Then our lease ended July 11th. So the plan was Sarah was going to go to her parents for those two, three weeks. And I was going to go to San Francisco to be with my mom. I did that. Like, we, you know, she passed away. Okay, passed away. Then we came back and we officially moved in August 2nd to our new place. And so, drum roll, please. Where did we move? Um, we moved to Illinois. Illinois! The mid-freaking-west, y'all. Chicago Red Stars. Yeah. We're coming for you. We yeah. When the pandemic's over. <laughs> 100 years. No. Um yeah, so as you know, I'm originally from Iowa. Yes. I honestly didn't think I would come back to the Midwest. Yeah, we didn't. But it was calling our name. It was. And you know why? One of the big reasons why. Y'all. We have moved into a house. Yes. In Central Illinois, <laughs> not not close to Chicago. We were in an apartment for a very long time, and it's the first time Sarah and I have rent, but we're renting a house, and it's so exciting because we can be as loud as we want to be. Yeah, we're going to be uh, karaokeing it up every day of our lives. Yeah. The most ironic part is the neighbors across the street from us are also lesbians. Yes, they're a lesbian couple. And our landlord told us that like when we first, when they first, she first rented to us. Um, and we thought that was iconic, but I didn't see it. I didn't believe it until I saw it. I know, but I know. we saw it today, and we yeah. loved it. And so I think that's an omen. We were supposed to be here. I mean, lesbians with lesbians, that's that's the way to Just go. Just love it. You know, 10 years ago, that would be something you probably wouldn't see as much. And if it was, it wasn't so obvious. But yeah, I keep seeing a lot of um, people have the signs in their yard, like, in this house, we uh, believe love is love. Yeah, and love like it. all the things, you know. Love All it. the good stuff. So we're in Illinois and uh yeah we'll update you so yeah obviously um it has been very hectic we've been moving everything in and it was super hectic when we were leaving the east coast and packing like when i was leaving my job it they say bad things happen mm-hmm. in three right yeah yeah so i was leaving and my boss was leaving and she had been there for like 20, 30, 30 years? No, like 20 years. 20 25. years. She was retiring, so I was leaving, she was leaving. And then I had a coworker die in a car accident. Mm, yeah. Like, and she had been with the company even longer. Yeah. But she was younger. She was like, not, she's 60? Was she? Yeah, like, maybe just like early, early, early. She was early, like 60 early. something. And that shook me to the core because she was so healthy like she was a very 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 healthy six-year-old like very healthy and for someone healthy to be extremely healthy and then it's like oh nope you're just gonna die in a car accident and she was going to a work she was going to a work training oh my god so work actually killed her and she Um, was gonna go on vacation so she well yeah she had just come back from vacation was gonna go on another vacation Mm -hmm. i mean this woman was the life of the party yeah and then the thing with sarah's mom just life is crazy y'all just but that's kind of what i say about sarah like it's unpredictable her, her co-worker passed away and it was unexpected my mom you know i knew at some point she was going to pass away so it's just goes to show you it could be sudden it could be not sudden it you could never be, know you just never know um so that's kind of what's been going on um you. thank mm-hmm. you guys for all the support Nine thousand subscribers thank oh, you yeah, so we're much all over the place we yes um nine thousand. hey so that's much. hot can't believe it i like literally can't believe it and i think it's so cool right, questions comments down below what did you guys think um yeah what did you guys think about the game what did you think about sam and christy or actually we're going to talk about uh, the game maybe at some other point but um what yeah, you guys think make about a late video why yeah. not what did you guys think about sam and christy this iconic moment their first date possibly the second date um <laughs> and do you want to see more of sam and christy i know i do yes please christy shouldn't even go home she should stay in the uk she's still not part of the world <laughs> They should have a whirlwind romance. <gasps> I mean, Oh, yeah. she has to go back to the dash, though. So oh, okay. Sam could come to the States. Questions, comments down below. We'll talk to you guys later. Have a good night. All right, bye. bye.